I'm scared. As soon as you're scared, you're gonna make a mistake. So you just have to trust your skill set and what you've learned so far. You can't do anything else. If you are hitting your lines here, there's so many birdie holes. But just a little kick and you're one meter off the fairway. It's easy to take big numbers here. Hello and welcome to round two of the 2024 Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship presented by Barbasol. We have made it. We're not having any sort of cut or anything, just in the uh, format. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Uh-huh. And Kristen Tatar is right. Fear is the mind killer. Got to attack out here, <laughs> out at Nevin Park for that $35,000 prize money. Heck yeah. Before we get started, remember, we have been filming Putting Game all year. It's returning for season three. Episode one is this Sunday, right after the Pro Tour Championships. You can see it on DGN. You can see it on the Jomas Pro Patreon. If you don't have those, you can join for free a free month uh, with the code Jomez free. You get Disc Golf Network Pro or Standard. You get all the putting game ac- uh, episodes early access. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Kristen Tatar, 64% fairway hits, 56% circle tune regulation, 100% C1X putting. It was pretty an amazing show yesterday. She shot a six down uh, with two bogeys. Uh, Evelina Salonen, our current world champion, 82% fairway hits through round one, 78% circle two in regulation, 80% of her circle one X putts dropping. She was looking very good on the course yesterday. Just a couple of bogeys that were really close. Yeah, also six down with two bogeys. Holland Hanley, 55% fairway hits could definitely bump that up a little bit. 33% circle two in regulation and also 100% circle one X putting and some big circle two putts as like well. She might have been close to 100% circle two. Yeah. Like she was canning all of them. Own Scott. Goggins, also a great putting day, 89% circle 1X putting, 73% fairway hits, 39% circle 2 in regulation, looking to boost that up just a bit today. Hole 1 is a newer hole, same tee pad, but a different basket location. It used to be tucked to the right, now it's dead straight and a perfect hole for a Missy Gannon Thrasher. Um... OB in the parking <laughs> lot on the right hand side, it's pretty self-explanatory, just a little... Yeah, just a little par three to ease your way into this very, very brutal woods course. If you didn't watch yesterday and you're confused as to how Kristen is 14 down after shooting a six down, it's because this format this year is starting with a certain amount of strokes that carry throughout the entire tournament. We've seen resets and bracket styles in the past. This is just one solid amount. Kristen started with the third position in tour points and had an eight stroke. Evelina, Eight stroke advantage. So if you're good at math like we are, Evelina had six strokes to start because she shot a six down yesterday. Yeah, keep up. Can they tell I practiced? <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful shot from Evelina. Holland shot a three down yesterday. She attacked on hole 17, 17, 18 being kind of a very different style than the rest of the course, and then took it easy on 18, kind of just played for position. Yeah, I think we could potentially see Holland shoot a really low number out here, but it's the type of course where you could also shoot a really high number <laughs> any day. I can imagine if Holland stays in the fairway and keeps putting like that. All coming together. Own showing us uh, her scramble ability yesterday all day on the course. She made some big putts as well. One of the only competitors of our 20 uh, person field to go bogey free yesterday. Um, but it's interesting. She looks pretty intense. You can tell she really wants to win this one. She's being kind of hard on herself when she's making mistakes and not capitalizing. Holland with a soft bid up to the bullseye. Owen with a similar putt, but just a step outside circle one, trying to get this round going. She's got a lot of shrubbery in her way. 
So much shrubbery. Even though this is a pretty straightforward hole, there were only four birdies out of 20 competitors. No, no bogeys carded on the field, but Evelina going to start her round with one of the rare birdies. Looking confident on the putting green as she did all day yesterday when we checked in with her. Kristen missing chain high left on her first birdie attempt. It was a bit warmer than yesterday. Um, not quite in the morning, but it's definitely going to warm up as we go and not quite as windy. Uh, I did double check. Owen was the only one to go bogey free yesterday. Oh, dang. Pretty cool. Yeah. And the streak continues. Evelina, Haley King, Cat Merch, and Anakin Sten making a circle two putt. Haley King parking the hole. Let's do a quick check in with Hina Bloomroos ahead on hole two. She's taking the inside line to the right. A nice drifting shot. Oh, and she's getting some fade here. That's. Really beautiful. That's so good. This hole kind of feels like there's not one good line. You're just throwing and hoping you don't catch any of these edge of fairway trees. Ooh, henna, yeah, Henna doesn't touch a single tree the whole way. Pretty amazing. I think there were only a couple of birdies on this one yesterday. Mm -hmm. Very difficult green to access. Evelina with the only birdie, bringing it to it within one stroke of our leader. Hole two, we just saw it from Henna. It's a par three, 366 feet. Very tricky though. There's the inside gap that she took, which looks like it has more trees in the way, at least initially, and then it opens up a bit, or the outside route, but it's so difficult to keep a disc turning all the way. Uh, we do have a disc from the practice round for Gloria Tate and Shannon Davis. You will each get a disc, not just one to share. Uh, it's not like a mailing situation. Um, <laughs> it is signed by AB, Big Germ, and Adam Hammis. If you are interested in said discs in the future and giveaways check out jomezpro.com slash patreon or something very similar that was just on your screen <laughs> sisterhood of the traveling disc <laughs> Ooh, into it <laughs> so ready to start that <laughs> we're millennials here in the booth so we were raised on pen pals obviously we love mail <laughs> <laughs> and embroidering <laughs> jeans that somehow fit both of us <laughs> yeah. And everyone on the media team and all of the players on the course right now. <laughs> <laughs> and in the realm of disc golf, Kristen catches kind of an early tree. Evelina did get most of the way down there. Holland went for this left-hand route yesterday. I like the play. It gets you all the way down on the putting surface, but it does typically set you up with a circle two look. Own going inside with too much churn. She actually squeaks through though. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love this little structure that's holding this leaning tree up. Oh yeah. They're really protecting that tree because it makes this hole cool. Oh, nice looking approach from Kristen. Uh, notably absent on our card today is defending champ Missy Gannon, who shot only one down yesterday. Uh, didn't quite capitalize. She's on top of Chase card. We'll see if big money Missy can make some moves today. She's a two-time winner and defending champ. Kristen Tatar winning in 2022. Yeah, Missy with just a couple big mistakes yesterday, and it seems like nobody made whew, big mistakes yesterday. Um, fairly the lead or yeah lead card was fairly free of blemishes maybe a couple single bogeys here and there most of the field showing why they're here in this format and have made the finals there weren't a ton of huge numbers Evelina some work left to do to save par here oh nice. yeah world champ looking solid on the green yeah an elevated basket too Really get the putting confidence up. There was only one birdie. We got to watch Henna. Oh, wow. With that deep circle one putt. She was the only person to even get to circle one. Only seven people got to circle two. This whole play is tough. And unlike some of the other holes that might have a little bit newer positions and are a little bit different, this is one that will always play hard. Mm-hmm. 
This isn't one like, oh, I'm going to suddenly figure this out. Yep. <laughs> oh, I cracked the code. Yeah. I'm going to birdie it every time. No, mm -hmm. never. Just hard. Some good scramble game from our lead card here. Everyone securing a par. Hole three, our first par five of the day. 630 feet, very short, very technical. That's what makes up for it. You're, I think almost every shot has to be more of a placement shot than trying to bite off distance. Although we did see a couple of players trying to be more aggressive yesterday and it paying off. Um, I kind of like just chip, chip, chip on this hole and give yourself a putt. The fairway is so narrow and so pinched off in points that it's really important to dial in your landing zone. Um, you can see very easily slipping into bogey land, even though it's such a short par five. Evelina, one of the few to go huge off this tee. She tries again today. Pretty sharp angle. That's going to work fine. Kristen a little lower, but still putting a little ump on this disc, hoping to get that left-handed carry. That looks great. She might have a tree in her backswing. This hole's all about capitalizing on kind of pinched off awkward angles. It's a scrambly par five. Definitely. Allen in a similar position. Own pushing that backside a little bit more, uh, which is a great play for this hole. And honestly, most of the holes out here at mm -hmm. Nevin. Feels like you're almost going to run into the back wall and then you got to fade just in time. It's a difficult shot. Own working a backhand turnover here. The forehand was just a little pinch for her. Not trying to bite off too much. She's playing really smart golf here. Evelina stepping out with a sidearm, a nice turning shot. Oh yeah, uses the entire width of the fairway. Holland with a very similar looking shot, just a little bit further, working that flex forehand. It's got a little too much angle on it. She's gonna be pinched off on the left side. It's not bad over there, uh, but it's gonna be a technical shot to the green. Holland always too much flexing. <laughs> She's so strong. Christian trying to push that back wall, getting not a terrible kick. Actually, Holland Pretty fairly open. open. Yeah. yeah. Pretty looking shot, too. Just outside the bullseye for a birdie. That's also kind of the name of the game here at Nevin is just barely missing fairway trees that are guarding the green. You have to do that so often. You see a lot of discs pinned up on those guardian trees. Not own though, she slides by all of them. <laughs> I do think most of them, they feel pretty fair. Oh yeah, totally. You know, it's, it's not one of those courses where it's like, man, that tree's right, right in the, the way. way. You'll never, you know, but definitely. But with these angles, uh, how are they all like just I, doing it that's perfectly? What I'm though it's pretty amazing. With these angled forehands, like they really have to come in at the perfect time. Turns did, out they're all pretty good. Yeah, how did no one get pinned up on either of those left side trees? And our entire lead card inside the circle putting for birdie. I assume this played fairly easy based on what we're watching. Yeah, definitely uh, some of the, one of the easier holes of the day. It's in the top four. There were eight birdies out of 20 competitors. Huh. I feel like the more I watch people play this, this is just like a chillin' par five. Like, yeah. if, as long as you're chillin', you're going to be fine. Yeah, don't, yeah. Get, don't, don't go, go crazy. Nuts. Yeah, Enjoy your chips. <laughs> Eat a snack. Yeah, get up there. Chip, chip, chip. <laughs> looking like we're gonna have a star frame here do we have we didn't have one yesterday do we i don't think so all right first of the weekend 25 dollars to edge disc golf that doesn't happen very much out here at nevin let's check in with missy gannon on the chase card 
Defending champ looks like she hasn't had a birdie yet. She's ahead on hole four. And she's past that kind of... Is this the rock pile? Yeah, yeah that rock pile. Oh, she's well past it. Yeah, she's a little pinched here more than you want, but she's comfortable with a hyzer shot, so as long as she pushes this back wall, she can get up and down. Oh. Beautiful. I mean, what guardian trees? Yeah. Do they exist? Up, down, side to side. Yeah. She can do it all. First birdie of the day for Missy Gannon. It's always fun. Consecutive numbers. The Power Disc Golf Academy would like to shout out Tom K. When Tom joined the Academy, his rating was 685. Tom has increased his rating by an unbelievable 117 points and is now rated 802. Ezra's max distance lessons have increased his distance and accuracy, and it shows. Great job, Tom. Keep it up. If you want to improve your rating like Tom has, scan the QR code and use promo code DGPT at checkout for an exclusive discount to the Power Disc Golf Academy. Hole four, we just saw Missy Gannon birdie at par four, 640 feet. Get past this rock pile. That is step one. Uh, if you can center up your next shot, you're going to be pretty happy. We saw Missy a little bit pinched, able to manufacture something on the left side, but definitely a more difficult shot than it looks. A lot of times this second shot is a bit blind. There's no out of bounds to speak of. This one, as long as you have good footing and are fairly open uh, on your second shot, you're counting it as a birdie. Yeah, you got to get some ground play most of the time because of how far it carries on the second shot. And it's a tighter angle than it looks. Mm -hmm. Again, having to push that back wall. That's great. Evelina in almost the exact same spot. We just saw Missy throw her second shot from. She's going champion Rock X3. Just doing placement golf out here. Kristen with a much tighter line. Wow, it's going to work great for Grand Glory. Holland's shot pushing a little too straight here. And she's going to unfortunately be caught behind that grouping of trees that where so many discs end up. Could be worse. If you kick into that right side deep, uh, it's, it's so one bad. of the worst, I think, spots of rough on the course. Perfect shot from own. Holland forced to do a straddle step out sidearm on a shot that needs to finish left. So she's just going to pitch up to the corner. Yeah, conceding the par here. Own in position for a fairly simple hyzer, probably 300-ish feet, maybe yeah. slightly more. And not quite inside the circle, but in own range. Own range being approximately 112 feet away. <laughs> Statistically. Mm -hmm. Historically. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yes, she is. <laughs> did a really nice job this year putting spectator rope in the woods. I think it's one of the most fun spectator friendly courses in the woods I've ever seen. In the woods, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's uh it's cool. You can you're you feel like you're almost right on the fairway, but you're out of the way enough and you can see the shots really well. Very exciting. Holland still quite a bit of work left in circle 2 for a par save. For those of you looking for an event to go to this, the Pro Tour Championships here in Charlotte is always a good one. Kristen just gonna lay up for a par there. Own, looking for that birdie. Oh man, great power, just a little bit too high. All in from just a bit closer. She's trying to save par here. Oh, yeah. 
God, her putt is looking so impressive right now. She was 50% circle two yesterday. Really? The, mm -hmm. the pacing's just perfect. Yeah, and she doesn't look like she's panicking. She looks confident and smooth. It doesn't look like she's having to try to get the yes. discs to spin off her hand. Definitely. Oh, another birdie for Evelina. Three down through four on the round All so right, far. champ. Yeah. And tying it up. It is interesting to see how tight the scores are with the format this year. I just can't imagine. It's a totally different mental game having an advantage going in. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I feel like it's surprisingly tight at the top with those advantages. Mm -hmm. Isn't it weird? I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Here is hole five, 710 feet in a very challenging par five. Uh, it's, I think, on paper, it looks like everyone should be birdieing this hole, but once you get out here and look at this gap and see all the different ways your disc can react, the tee shot becomes a lot scarier and a lot more intimidating. We saw Evelina absolutely smush one down there and then the rest of the hole becomes fairly simple, but if you're pinched off early off an early tree or just to the left or right through the gap, it can be really, really difficult to get back into the middle or get up and down. This used to be a very, very difficult par four. Mm -hmm. And they changed it to a five. So we Car are going to tweener. Yeah, it's definitely a tweener. We are going to see quite a few birdies and maybe an eagle or two. But boy, can they stack as well. Evelina just throwing that Star Destroyer on a rope. Kristen was a bit too far right yesterday. This looks like a really good adjustment with her orbit grace. And I wonder if they're going to be able to look straight down the tunnel if it'll still be kind of a challenging hyzer to get down there. It's not quite the right shape yep. for the flight of a disc, that tunnel. Holland did the same thing yesterday, getting tangled up on the right side. Such an easy mistake to make, and the better one compared to the left with that OB and that mandatory. And all the trees. <laughs> Owen making a correction from yesterday. She had kind of an early release today, getting some ground play over to the left side of the fairway. I'm not super familiar with what it's like over there. It's pr very pinched. Very pinched. I actually think she might even be pushing an OB line that's up there. It was definitely faded more than she wanted. Holland trying to get some ground play. She'll, she's far enough where I think she'll be able to manufacture something for a birdie. Yeah, look, look how close she used to OB. Oh, wow. Yeah. And now she's kind of throwing kind of almost perpendicular to the gap. And she, she fortunately hits a tree and drops center cut. Yeah, Evelina is pinched to the secondary gap, but that's not stopping her from attacking. What a cool shot. That was so cool. Not quite getting the pan she wants at the end, but she's putting. And you can see why it's a tweener. It's just a bit too tough. Kristen and Evelina both throwing picture-perfect drives and not really having a great route to the pin as a par four. But both doing a great job to get any kind of look. Yeah, a really, really easy birdie at the very least. Holland dealing with a whole lot of stuff here. From a knee little sidearm. Kind of looking like a par. Yeah, this it's is where outside. strokes can start stacking up really quickly, but thankfully she gets a good kick to the center of the fairway. Own choosing to go out and around all of those trees. To about 20 feet, very nice. Like Erica said, this hole's gonna see a lot of birdies and we sure did 60% of the field birdieing 12 out of 20 competitors. We got two circle two eagle bids here. I'm not sure how I feel about this change. Mm -hmm. I feel like if it's going to be a par five, it almost needs to be farther back or just a little bit closer as a four. Yeah, the... the uh such a tweener. Yeah, the, the trees get pretty dense past the screen. There's not much room to move back there, but maybe they could find something. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, it does need some sort of change. Yeah, it's, it's fine. 
It's just fine. It's fine. And we prefer the birdies, obviously. Yeah. So but it's better as a five. Holland walking out of here with a par. She is not feeling great about it. No. Feels feels like a 5.5. <laughs> Evelina to go four down through five. Very impressive. This hole was the second easiest hole of the day. Let's check in really quick again with Hina on six. Throwing right at the OB line, trusting her disc to turn right and just get out into the open. A beautiful shot. Such good trust. Oh, she shed a layer just <laughs> for this. And it was worth it. Look at this thing. Right up onto the little mound that the basket's perched on top. Right, she left her hat on for that putt. <laughs> uh, a tie at the top. And three strokes separating from Own and Holland. Here it is. Uh, Hole six, a par four, 530 feet. OB on the left side that can come into play on that backhand shot that we saw from Henna if you fade out too early. We saw a lot of forehands. If you've got the power sidearm, even just 300 feet, it's a really great play. That's all you need to put yourself in position. Uh, another forehand is a great play to get all the way to this pin. You gotta be careful though. The OB comes into play at maybe about 45 feet behind it. So speed control, very important here. I think this is a overall a good change. It used to be over to the left um, into the woods and I liked it, but there was just an OB Creek that costs a lot of people strokes. It was kind of fluky. So I think this is better, but it plays, I think pretty Pretty easy for our field. Evelina trusting that backhand. She went, oh, cool, Star Roadrunner. Yeah, you don't have to bite a ton off here, but um, the second shot, if you have to stretch that out, it does become a much more difficult hole. It brings some trees in on the right side into play, and then the OB line's pretty close to the basket on the outside of it. So, um, it is nice to bite off as much distance as possible here, but that OB line can come into play if you don't have this giant forehand like we see Owen Scoggins flexing. Kristen, too. And hers more of like a kind of flip-up style than we normally see from Kristen. She did it yesterday, too. It's so pretty to watch. Whereas Holland's going to go more just straight power hyzer. A little too high, though. If she's past that tree, it's good enough. Yeah, she's just kind of... Mm. Yeah, she, it looks like on her forehands lately, she's just really trying to focus on not overpowering them. Yeah, it looked like she barely threw that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's uh, she's going to be short, so though. so much wrist snap. It's very easy for her to accidentally turn the disc over. Holland's also always working on her form, so mm -hmm. she could be trying out some new form stuff. There's Owen, ooh, getting a little bit scary with that OB line on the back, but she is inside the circle for birdie. Kristen, again, going forehand, forehand here. This is probably, what, 250 feet or so, but downhill. Maybe a touch more than that. Kristen gonna be just barely inside the circle, a little bit of work left. Oh, look at how close Evelina is. You don't really get to see her throw road, road runners very often. No. It's pretty cool. Ah. Rude. Man, that's some thick grass, too. Yeah. That is impressive how far that rolled. Yeah, rough break. Holland making a good golf decision with that OB right behind it. Evelina gonna soft bid this thing. Such a bummer, she put it closer than all of her competitors. But that's DG. Mm-hmm. Kristen to regain the solo lead. Great putt. All 
our best score yesterday was a seven down from Silva Saarinen in this new layout that is a course record. There were eight birdies on hole six in the top four easiest holes. Evelina, unfortunately, just going to have to settle for a par here. Ball don't lie, though. It'll come back. <laughs> Only four down through six. It's over. <laughs> Another check-in. Missy Gannon with the forehand. And she's going that kind of tighter line we're seeing a lot of our competitors throw. It usually works out really well. She gets kind of a rough kick back. Um, this is going to be a really tight flex line. Yeah, she was going to be a little bit uh, pinched to the right anyways, but looks like this wasn't too bad of a kick. I don't know. She really made that work. That she was a sure tough did. line. did. Another birdie for Missy. Forehand birdie. Yeah. Oh, just so many birdies on our lead card today. And no bogeys. You're looking at a work of art. No, it's not the Mona Lisa. But this beautiful can costs a lot less and looks magnificent in your bathroom. And Mona Lisa can't give you a smooth, close shave. Barbasol. It's a can of can-do. Hole seven. We just watched Missy Gannon play it. All you really need is a little chip forehand around the corner, nice and high, and ideally get past this one big tree and land right in this area, leaving yourself a pretty wide open tunnel. There's still some trees in the way, though. You got to carry pretty far, nice and straight with a putter or a mid and slide up onto this leafy green. There is an outside route as well, but and even though from the tee, it looks like the right option it often brings a little bit more of the ob into play than you need and even leaves you with a pretty closed off approach to the green leaves leaves and we saw this from kristen yesterday and what missy just did too it looks like it's too sawed off but there's some routes over there oh i was just double checking because silva did shoot the course record seven down yesterday but before that it was only five down hmm. in different formats. Wow. So definitely playing a few strokes easier with a lot of these changes this year. Yep. And just everyone's really good. Both things. Both. Evelina pushing that last tree a little bit more than everybody else on the card. She's going to be more in the middle patch of trees. Holland went OB on this one yesterday, too deep. This looks like a good correction. Come on. Yeah. Oh my, she's gonna wow. get all the way. But then she just has to look at this wall. I know, I really think that that shot should be rewarded. Mm -hmm. No one else, no one else in the field can <gasps> do that right now, what she just did on that kind of a power line. Ah, uh, Own not quite getting the ground play, little backwards roll. She is putting. Evelina's going to have to throw a little bit more of a technical shot. But th that's kind of the nature of this hole. Mm -hmm. You're left with a lot of these little flexy hole, uh, gaps. Evelina doing a nice job to get at least in a circle two. Kristen with a fairly open shot for this hole. And she uses all that space really well. I think she's just inside the circle. She's so good at those high Annie forehands. She really is. Man. Holland nearly pin high. What a shot. She went oh. Jawbreaker Z Flex Raptor and was maybe low key going for the Eagle. Owned from outside circle two, looking at a birdie. Good looking uh, run. Man, I love her pure hyzer putt. On distance putts, I have a tendency to put a little more Anheuser on them and mm -hmm. let them work out she's just pure high hyzer yeah it's fun to watch yeah mine's like a full flex line to get all <laughs> yeah, the way there <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> evelina she had a little teeny gap to go through very technical putt comes up just a little bit short Kristen from circle two a little bit low right 
Holland, the only remaining birdie look here on our lead card. Well done. One of only five birdies on hole seven today. It's good to see her rewarded for such an amazing tee shot. Everyone else just going to clean up their pars. So six out of nine holes on the front, average under par. Hmm. Uh, on the back, every single hole averages over par. I guess that um, kind of settles our debate on which <laughs> nine is easier, huh? Yeah, and I think it could change just a little bit every day. But today, the back nine is for sure harder. Okay, good to know. Evelina with the current hot round, four down through seven. Everyone else hovering right around two or three in the top 10. Hole eight, a downhill par four, 548 feet. The same as last year. Uh, are you gonna go inside, outside of the telephone pole, inside, outside of the secondary telephone pole? You're gonna go layup? You're gonna go across the creek? What are you gonna do? We're gonna find out. Um, if you get across the creek, it's definitely worth it. It becomes a pretty easy layup to this pin. Um, you occasionally see some rollaways and some trouble with the trees surrounding and even those telephone wires surrounding the green. But for the most part, this is a super attackable par four. Holland going across for sure. Or at least attempting to with an ESP undertaker. Yeah, this is uh, the separation of the hole that makes this a really great FPO hole where the people that are really co more comfortable with their distance drivers that really shine in the more open holes can attack this hole more than the players that are comfortable in the woods and love the layup. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool hole design. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Holland turns it over too far to the right. Kristen not going to crawl over. She's OB playing for par now. Own. It looks like she crossed though, I believe. You think so? We'll see. We'll see what they give her. Either either way, it, it should be a fairly simple shot for her. Totally. Own laid up yesterday. I'm not really sure what the intention was here. The result is a little bit overturned and a fair amount of work left to do, but definitely Birdie still is in play. Evelina attacking, riding that right side. Maybe a little too much. It mm. looks like it checks up just before the OB line. Man, we saw most of our competitors get across yesterday, but it's a tough shot. Tough and a lot more narrow than it looks like on camera. Definitely. Own oh, master of the flex. Yeah, combined with how narrow the fairway is with how steep this hill is, your angle has to be perfect. Evelina kind of forced to go pure hyzer with that telephone pole in the way. And she, it's a good shot, but she doesn't quite get the ground play. She'll be just inside the circle. Man, I could watch her throw that Heiser for power standstill forehand all day. Oh, yeah. That was sick looking. Holland has a lot of stuff in the way, but <laughs> look at all of that snap. So much power. She, she was in a horrible position, and it just looks like all the power is coming from her wrist, as you said earlier. It's amazing. And you were right, as always, uh, Kristen <laughs> did cross. Evelina outside the circle looking for a birdie. Oh, very uphill. She was so close to putting it in the chains. Own coming back down the hill. Wow, and Own already four down, uh, matching her score from yesterday. And continuing her bogey-free streak. And she's looking more relaxed out here today. Mm -hmm. uh, Own we're used to seeing. Colin with such a great second shot and a tap-in birdie. Own and Holland, two of seven birdies today. And bringing it into a very tight race. Our four lead card competitors only separated by two strokes. That's so cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. Another check-in with Missy Gannon on the chase card. She's on 
our next hole, hole nine. They changed this one to be a little bit shorter. It used to be a par four, now a downhill par three. Wow, she hits the log and goes over it, which almost never happens. I'm gonna say never happens, yeah. ever. You see, you see so many discs get pinned up behind that log. And not only does Missy get a nice little bounce off the log, she also cans the putt to capitalize on that. Hannah Blumroos ahead on 10, our shortest hole of the day at 242 feet. It's uphill, so you need more power than that, and we know Henna's good for it. Absolutely God, parking the hole. looks like a mid. I bet it was. I, it might even be a putter. Look at that. No. That's a little, that's a little thin rim disc. No She throws way. the rock so good. It's probably a rock. It's probably a rock. Three is my guess. Yeah. Wow, our whole card's bogey-free. No big deal. <laughs> it's the cleanest set of four cards I think we've seen all year. Honestly. Yes. And this course can wreck people. Let's wrap up the front nine of round two with this downhill par three. Another shot where you really, really, really have to control the angle of your disc because the hill is going to highlight any error you make. And that OB can come up so quickly behind the green. It's inside the circle, deep. Uh, I don't know if I think forehand or backhand is you better. Said forehand was so much gumption yesterday. Yeah, you but did me? you just watch Missy? That yeah. was so good. I like the backhand, like hyzer flip up to drifting turnover kind of a shot. That kind of a vibe. So technical. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Holland. Ooh, she's flirting with OB down there. Oh shoot. Holland problems. Own, going backhand. A little bit different rock three than we're used to seeing. Not that red one. I don't know. This they, one may be more stable. Okay. Yeah, that backhand looked great. I don't I don't know if they should let a field player do commentary like me. <laughs> uh, honestly, both of us are, so. <laughs> I know. We need someone with a little bit more, like, math. <laughs> I think either can work. To be telling us about this disc golf course. Okay, to me, all right, let's get technical. Yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. The, We're four, so technical. the forehand doesn't feel worth it because of what happened to Holland. Mm -hmm. And what happened to Kristen, you have to push those trees. And even if you do, you're going to get the ground play versus the backhand. It's only 322 feet, so you can throw a mid-range. Even us little noodle arms back here could probably throw a mid-range and get down there. And then it's going to sit nice, nicely, unlike Evelina. Dang it. I know. But she just ripped it, though. It, but that shot is panning the whole time, so it's really hard to get it to slow down. She should probably throw a, a putter. She's Man, so strong. I feel like the, the fact that we're having so much trouble describing what's the best shot on this it, hole oh, means it was that a it's a good hole. It was a putter. It was a putter. <laughs> I know it was a putter. Yeah, it's just a good hole. It's a good, hard, fun hole. Oh, yeah. look oh, at the, the little flowers. How did I miss that? We love the Charlotte Disc Golf community. They're awesome. We love this log, too. Mm -hmm. Holland coming back up for a par save. Oh, yeah. She has not missed a putt. Mm -mm. That's crazy. Wow, Evelina with a fantastic putt. Oh, she checked up. Oh, she ha -ha. did. Empirically proving that the backhand <laughs> <laughs> is the way. And that is the final straw. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a good hole. I think it's a great change. Yeah. Evelina with one of only two birdies. Missy Gannon was the other one. Wow. Good hard hole. Henna Bloomer's ahead on hole 11 going standstill backhand turnover. Uh, this one is Ooh. very downhill. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Hit, Hit the it. thing. Hit the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one time you want to hear that noise. <laughs> That's the, the best thing that could happen on this hole. This one played extraordinarily difficult yesterday. Almost no one landing in the circle. We'll get to that later, though. Hold your horses. <laughs> uh, that was the front nine. Evelina with the current hot round five down through nine. Tied up with our leader. Ooh, look um, at Hannah Wynn down at 11th. I knew she was going to oh, come nice. out here and shoot hot. Yeah, and she got the last spot shooting out of her mind at MVP Open. So congrats to her. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, making up for her stroke deficit that she had coming in and being almost up in the top 10. Everyone's under par today. Nevin's so easy, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> no, the back nine does play a little bit tougher according to the stats today. So let's uh, go Let's go check it out. Let's go watch our lead card and maybe some check-ins as well. We're only halfway through the event, so so much left. Came, thanks for coming and hanging out with us here at the final event of the year. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. 
We're the two honkies. Honk, honk.